I fell in love with the game of baseball when uh, I found out that my dad played baseball, you know, and at that point I wanted to be just like my dad, you know, at that time. I wanted to, to, to do what he did and, um, you know, I had just given up golf. Um, so at that time I wanted to be better than, than he ever was and, um, you know, make it to the big leagues and, and live out a dream that uh, he wasn't able to do when, it, when he played. Uh, I remember playing baseball on my porch with my grandpa. We were just playing catch, and I remember anytime I dropped the ball, he would say I'm on the bench. So that's where I kind of came into the mentality of if you touch it, you catch it. Just because from a young age, if I dropped a football, if I dropped you know, a basketball pass, a baseball, uh, I was on the bench. So I think I just was brought into that competitive nature, and I fell in love with that. Well, I was lucky enough to grow up with a twin brother, so I think being able to always have to play catch with somebody, I would, I would say when I was probably five or six, I really, really fell in love with the game. First professional baseball game I went to was out in San Francisco. I went with a buddy of mine who had his, uh, his grandparents had season tickets to Giants games, and um, they asked me one weekend if I wanted to make the trip out there. And you know, I was, I was a kid. I had nothing to do. I, you know, I did my homework. I was ready to roll, so I went out with my buddy Peter, and we went and. Watch it, caught a couple, uh, couple Giants games out in the Bay Area. It was pretty fun. It was actually when I was in, I was living in Minnesota, um, and I, I, my parents caught a foul ball um, from Hal McRae, and my middle name's McRae, so my mom thought it was like the coolest thing in the world. I was only two or three years old, um, but I still have that ball at, at my uh, my parents' house in my, in my room. Um, so I thought that was a, a cool experience.